hashtag tasty Tuesday. Hello my lovely vapies, welcome back. Today's video is all about culture vapor e-liquid. Welcome back. So today's video is all about culture vapor e-liquid. Now these e-liquids are made by the same guys who made the 12 vapor e-liquid which was that box set of 12 different flavors um, that were for the astrological symbols. You know I'm a Cancer, there's Aquarius, Sagittarius, Leo, etc. Those guys made these e-liquids. I want to show you the box that came in. You guys know that when a company includes like a cute or cool unique packaging I usually save the packaging to show you guys just because not many companies send their product in cool packaging but I just thought this was really neat so this is the culture package they have wild heaven and tagged so this is the label art for heaven there's tagged and on this side we have wild now it took me a second to realize like I thought this was just swirlies but it actually is wild and this is tagged this one's obvious like heaven you can see it but I really liked their labeling and then they have like the website and phone number you can call. This is my P.O. Box address. So inside that tightly packed box comes like this. You have the flavor menu right here on top, which is muy bueno in my book. And then you have this foam casing for the three flavors and they all come in little tins, just like the 12 Vapor e-liquids do. And they sent me two of these, so one for myself and one for you guys for a giveaway. And I also wanted to, s I can't really show you unless I like open the box completely, which I could do. But on the inside of the box even, it says, right in here, I don't know, if you see how there's words? It says, vaping is a culture, heaven is a place, wild is a feeling that leaves a smile tagged on your face. Now, it's a little rhyme. It includes their name and their e-liquid names. I love it. So I thought that was pretty slick and, you know, secret. I love, like, it's like, oh, there's something in there. You know, I'm just weird like that. I like surprises like that. So on to these. Oh, I'm so excited. These are so pretty. So these are 30 mil unicorn bottles in here in these tins. Oh, my God, come out. And they are $16.99, all three of these, but they have different PGVG ratios. The Heaven flavor is an 80% vegetable glycerin, 20% propylene glycol blend, whereas Tagged and Wild are 75% vegetable glycerin and 25% propylene glycol. These are available in zero, three, six, nine, and 12 milligrams nicotine. Just wanna show you a close up of their cool tins with the label art on them. I have seen these e-liquids so much on Instagram lately, which is why I was so excited to get them and check them out for you guys and of course try them out for myself. So that's what the tins look like. And then here is the actual e-liquid bottles. Also has the label art. Come on camera, focus please. Here is tagged. On the bottle, they have the warning about chemicals in the e-liquid, nicotine, and the ingredients list as well. Has a born on date, the milligram, the size, and a batch number. Not for sale to minors, loving that. So there's plastic head to toe. I'm gonna go ahead and just try uh, tagged first since it's the one that I opened first out of the tins. I love the tins because when you're done with the e-liquid, you can still use the tins. This smells so good. I don't even know what it is yet but I can smell through the bottle a delicious freaking scent. Just trying to figure out the best way to get this plastic off. You guys know me, plastic and me go rounds. Aha. Smells definitely like, like a bakery smell, like a muffin. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, this is Baked apple cider donut filled with warm, crisp spiced apples dusted with cinnamon sugar topped with whipped cream. Oh my god. And look at the picture. Ooh, it looks delicious. So I'm definitely stoked to try this flavor already. I am trying it out on some fresh cotton on my Troll RDA, on my MVP 3 Pro. I have been hooked on trying e-liquids with my RDA. But before I used my RDA, I just used this simple 510 dripping atomizer. You screw it in where you would screw your tank and you put a couple drops of the flavor in this little tube and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. So for people who do not build or do not know how to build or do not want 
want to build, there is always this option for flavor testing. It is quick and easy, but flavor is so much more magnified and so much more delicious in a dripper. OMG, I am so excited for this freaking baked apple donut. I'm actually pretty excited to try this because from the 12 Vapor line, there was a lot of flavors that I did enjoy. There were some flavors that weren't my cup of tea, but so I'm pretty excited for these ones. So, oh, it smells so good. Here we go with Tagged. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Mm. Okay, one more. I have to enjoy this. Oh my god, this takes you on a ride of flavors. So first we have the apple cider is really forefront. The baked donut part, like the donut-y part is after that, but you really get like an apple cider vibe from it. I was expecting more of like, just like a regular like apple pastry type flavor, but you're really getting that bubbly apple cider flavor. The cinnamon is nice and smooth. It's not too much cinnamon for my liking. It's just enough to where you can taste the cinnamon, like kind of like Apple Jack's cinnamon version, but definitely an apple cider flavor to it. And I feel like the whipped cream is pretty much the undertone of it, but it smooths out the entire vape and makes the bitter, cidery, and the cinnamony, you know, a smooth instead of too harsh, because it's like, for cinnamon, it's like hit or miss with me, but I'm really freaking liking this. It's yummy. It really resembles just like a, a, you know, like apple pie or like an apple muffin or something like that with cinnamon, except for the fact that you definitely get that cider vibe with that bubbly. Oh. That is good. It's almost like buttery, flaky, also like, mm, I love it. Next, we are going to try Heaven, which is soft, sweet, shortbread cookies packed with fresh blueberries drizzled with a hint of caramel and a splash of milk. Oh, oh my God, that sounds so good. And look, look at that delicious photo. Here's a close-up of the Heaven tin. It's got the label art, oh, upside down. It's like a little angel person lady. Pop it open and out comes the heaven bottle. Let's see, can I have more success with this? And by success, I just mean, can I get this one off quicker than the last one? <laughs> the plastic. Good thing my nails aren't fresh. Not a fresh manicure, don't care about messing it up. I have like a naked nail, a chipped nail. I need to go to the salon, but then it's like, it's not worth going to the salon when you have to deal with this kind of stuff because it just ruins it the very next day. Hashtag nail probs. Ooh, ooh. Mm, I'm getting the cookie, the shortbread, the like the, you know, the soury shortbread, blueberries 100% and then caramel 100%. Mmm, oh man, that is good. I've had... I'm pretty sure I've had blueberry shortbread cookies, but never with a drizzle of caramel and a splash of milk. And that might make it for me because I'm not like big into blueberry vapes. I do like some. There are some that I actually really, really like. Um, but this just fucking the caramel. The caramel is what's getting me because caramel is one of my top favorite flavors to vape. Caramel anything really except for caramel tobacco. Wouldn't, wouldn't want that really. All right, here we go with heaven. Oh. Oh, and it is heaven. Oh my god. Okay, so I was expecting like a little less blueberry. I'm getting like, if you had a shortbread cookie, like a plain shortbread cookie, I'm definitely getting that, like that, not bitter, but you know, they're kind of like tart. Shortbread cookies kind of have that taste to them. They're not like sugary smooth like a regular cookie, but it's more like instead of the blueberries mixed in, it's more like fresh blueberries on top. I'm getting really fresh blueberry from this and the caramel is so prominent and that makes me so happy because I was thinking, you oh, know, it's a drizzle of caramel, probably won't be that much caramel. There is enough caramel in here where I can definitely taste the caramel and the caramel in the blueberries is so good. Maybe if you took like blueberries and caramel and then you mixed it up into like a syrup and then poured it and drizzled it on top of the shortbread cookie. I'm not really getting the splash of milk yet. 
there is a little bit of like creamy sensation like milky creamy sensation but it's not a, it's not a lot like that if you didn't know it was in there you might not be able to detect that part of the flavor profile oh I could see myself all day vaping this one for sure that bottle is gonna be gone that is so good it I I love when I find a good dessert vape because I don't know about you guys, I like desserts, I like sweets, I like good food, and this kind of stuff helps me when I have a sweet tooth craving, you know, late at night or something, and I don't want to go reach for the cookies in the cupboard. This will help me with that because the caramel and the cookie, the blueberries, you know, like I, like I said, I'm not really big into blueberries, but it's enough of like a mix of caramel and cookie that the blueberry isn't overwhelming for me. It's good. And the caramel, A+. Plus. That is what makes this flavor for me personally. Yeah, it's a nice, thick caramel. Love in it. And last but not least, we have sweet, juicy Georgia peaches and perfectly ripe apricots balanced with a ribbon of sweet cream and finished with a layer of velvety, smooth Greek yogurt. Ooh, check out that dessert photo right there. Yum. Had a lot of peaches and cream vapes before, but never with a mix of apricot. Here is the tin art and inside is the bottle and here is the bottle art. Round three, Tia versus plastic. Who will win? This is the tiebreaker. I don't feel like I've won any of them so far trying, trying to get this plastic off. I do appreciate the plastic though. Like, don't get me wrong. The plastic is good. It's just very difficult. Some <gasps> I win. I won that one. That was the first one that ever was like that. Oh my God. Points for Tia. <laughs> Tia one, plastic two. Mmm, okay. Definitely getting peach mostly and cream mostly and the apricot flavor is undertone but it's there because I definitely can tell the difference between peach and apricot when I eat them. Definitely, definitely the undertone if I'd have to say so. Mmm, it's gonna be hard to beat that shortbread flavor though and the apple one. So right now it'd be the shortbread cookie one was first for me for favorite and then the apple one. And that's like a hard decision because that apple one is freaking good but the caramel, the caramel is just my favorite. Here we go with wild. Oh yeah. So I'm getting candy peach. Syrupy, sweet, sugary peach. I'm kind of conflicted because I'm getting like the creamy smoothness of the cream but I'm also getting that tarty Greek yogurty flavor and then the apricot is the undertone of all the flavors I would think I can still detect it especially on the the exhale and the aftertaste but peach is definitely prominent with the cream flavor but this one is really good too this one I almost think has more of a throat hit than the other ones and it is one of the ones that has less vg in it but not by much by like five so but i'm feeling like i'm getting like more of a throat hit from this one which is strange because you'd think the one with cinnamon would have more of a throat hit because cinnamon is kind of like that harshy flavor clouds bitch it is freaking vapey in here if somebody walked in here they would be like if they didn't know i was vaping they'd be like oh my god what is there a fire in here or something is baby as fuck but oh my god loving this flavor too it oh gosh they're all good I if I have to pick I definitely go with the shortbread blueberry caramel cookies because caramel is true oh I love caramel and then the apple one because I love that donuty sweet apple and like having the apple cider in there that is really good and then this one it's still good it's just my least favorite only because I favor desserty flavors over fruity flavors Oh yeah, that one's good. I could I could vape all of these all gone, but if I had to pick one out of them all, it would be the shortbread blueberry caramel cookie. Mm, mm, mm. So thumbs up for all of these flavors, definitely. I will put a link below to Culture Vapor if you want to check out these three flavors for yourself. If you've tried these flavors, let me know what you think, what you if you like them or not, because taste is subjective, it varies person to person. But like I said, I've seen these so much on Instagram lately that I just had to try them because obviously if people are posting them on Instagram, they must be good. But let me know what you think if you have tried them. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this 
this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below this video for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. Now I can see, oh hi camera, focus, I can see why people are posting them on Instagram now. I'm about to go post on Instagram too.